Hey guys, holy crap, it's been quite a long time. Um, my only excuse to give you is that life got really busy, and uh, you know, that's kind of the main reason why I haven't been around for a while. Um, but to continue where we left off, last episode I talked to an exhausting degree about E3. Good. You Ooh. That's you. Anyhow, as I was saying, um, last episode we talked a lot about E3. Uh, this episode, you know, E3's over, there's not really much left to discuss. Um, it's more just cleanup of a couple power cells. Shut up. Please, Dexter, shut up. Daxter, sorry. Daxter is a completely different character. Daxter, shut up. Anyways, um... So I am just going to get a couple more power cells from a couple ooh, crap uh, places. Uh, let's check what we got here. Sentinel Beach, Sandover Village, Geyser Rock, Forbidden Jungle. Okay, so we pretty much have all the Forbidden Jungle one. That's fine. Um, we still have like a couple more things that we have to do. Um, Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Good. Okay. You have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. Awesome. Okay. Now we can head towards the mirror and we can dab two power cells immediately. Uh, so how you guys been doing? Um, for myself, uh, it's mostly just been work. Um, you know, a little bit of work. Uh, some, a lot of video games came out recently. Uh, Star Ocean 5 and of course Tokyo Mirage Sessions as of this recording. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. Thanks, Mayor. Let's get the other one, too. Oh, come on. Finish saving. There we go. I want the other one. So, uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Okay, so there's only really one more power cell that I need to buy. Um, yes, we know. Shit. So you know it's going to continue to do this every five minutes or every time we get a power cell. Uh, let's go back to the beach. We actually have quite a lot of stuff to collect still. Um, now we can go to that big tower thing in the middle that's been bombing us uh, the last few episodes and we can collect the last of the precursor orbs and they sink in a few more power cells that happen to be tied to the beach. Uh, just gotta find... there it is. Pretty sure we have all the ones in the water, so that's not a big deal. My goal before uh, my goal is to finish this series before Final Fantasy XV comes out. That's the game that this channel was based or you know, intended uh, to be built upon. Um, so hopefully, we can get that done. Oh, no, 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 I just want to stay right here. I didn't mean to jump. Okay, so we got to wait for this thing to bomb us. Oh, I forgot it's not going to. Okay, whatever. I know how to do that. Will we have enough power cells for the night? Might. This might. And right on him. 
power cell. Kill this dude, wherever he is. Well, guess we got the power cell first. Uh, where is that lurker? There he is, oh man. Perfect timing. Killed him just as he was about to knock us around. So, this can be a bit tricky. I don't even remember how to shoot this. There we go. There's that one. And there's that one. Fuck. Gotta hold it. Nope. Nope. Hold it. Nope. A little more. There we go. There we go. How do I get off this thing now? Wait, send a little. I'm still missing one. Chase the seagulls. The fuck? Chase the seagulls. So we're actually missing one. Uh, we'll probably get eaten. Or maybe not. Chase the seagulls. I thought I already got all the power cells over here. I don't know how to use that. I can't remember how to use that little uh, targeting reticle. Not there. So if anything, there's. Sh oh. There. No. Oh, weird. I completely forgot about this one. There we go. Okay. Another power cell. 100% this area. And... I think that should be it. How many precursor orbs do we need? Oops. Whoa. Whoa, what? That makes no sense. We only have 28 of 112. That makes no sense at all. I'm pretty sure that we're supposed to have all 90, or sorry, all 112 or whatever that was. So that's weird. I don't know why we only have a couple. Oh, okay. Well, I see a thing over there. Do that in a second. Pop back over here. Land as close to this as I possibly can. There we go. So apparently we're missing a whole ton of precursor orbs in this area. Ooh, okay. Huh. So apparently we did not claim this place out. So looks like we have to explore a little. See, I thought I, I collected all this stuff, which is a little surprising to me. I mean, that's fine. That's what this episode is. It's cleanup. Um, the next few areas shouldn't take us nearly this long to collect all of the uh, power cells and precursor orbs, just because um, they're a bit smaller. There's maybe like one area after this that will probably give us any trouble. But they should all relatively be very easy to collect for. Let's see if I can hit. Oh, I did. So yeah, I'm just a little perplexed as to why we're missing so many. makes a little sense. Um, the only thing I can think of is if, for whatever reason, when I had to retake, do a retake of the video, that maybe we didn't get all the orbs. Or maybe Misty Island's part of that. It's hard to say, because... Uh, 
that stuff should all just be part of one collective. Um, but yeah, that's actually really puzzling. And that definitely looks like we already got to it. That fucker. So I'm pretty sure we already got that. So what exactly did we miss? Because unless it's like a bunch of stuff on the field, there's no way that we missed all of it. Whoops. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that we we got it all. Let's check that again. We're missing five. Okay, so you were looking at it wrong. We're missing five precursor orbs. Um, I'm not sure where those are. I mean, unless there's like one box that has uh, some orbs. Oh, oh, did we find it? I think we did. I think we did. There we go. Okay. So, I don't know if I was looking at the wrong thing, but seems like we're all good now. Which is great. Uh, you know what? Maybe even... I'm not really sure exactly what all the trophies for this game are, but who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll platinum this game. I don't have... I'm actually very terrible for platinum in games. Just because, like, I love playing video games, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I kind of think of myself as more of like a casual gamer that just happens to have played video games for a long time. And not necessarily someone who's like hardcore. Because I, you know, lately I have barely had the time to actually complete uh, many video games. In fact, I think in the past year, um, it's actually tough to recall specifically which ones I did actually even beat. So, Sandover Village, we're missing one more, which is from our uncle, but we don't actually have enough. What we can do now is go to Misty Island, because Misty Island is really the last piece of this, you know, area that we get to go to, because we can use the boat now. Um, Misty Island is, is kind of cool, but I actually find it sort of annoying, um, and you'll find out why in just a second. I remember this being really, really frustrating as a kid, actually. Just because of all the hazards and whatnot. But you know, so far we've had a pretty smooth sail. Died maybe a half a dozen times, but you know, we're, we're going at this pretty steadily. Uh, I don't think we're going to finish this game in like six hours, like I was hoping, just because I haven't played this game in a long time, or at least you know, from beginning to end in a long time. And uh, the other side of that being that... Oh. Oops. Um, the other side of that being that... Uh, I, I'm still, you know, learning how to deal with talking and uh, playing video games at the same time. In fact, that's the, one of the reasons why I had to redo one of the previous ep the previous episode is because there was a point in which I was talking but actually not doing anything in the game and just running back and forth between, uh, sorry, on a bridge, and that wasn't really interesting to watch. Like I have trouble just trying to make conversation, let alone, you know, not actually doing anything for almost, you know three, four minute long conversation that doesn't go anywhere other than just talking about E3. So I redid the video, had to actually restart, kinda, from a certain point in the game to even get back to... Oh, uh, to even get back to the point because the auto-saving feature kinda messes things up and there's no way to really turn it off, at least I don't think there is. So unfortunately I had to restart from an older save that Took me a little bit to get back to where it was. Nope. 
So the vent should be turned on, which actually means this area should be a little easier to deal with. Because there should be... Fuck. Okay, so this is the reason I hate this place. Because of this stupid thing. No, as a kid, how many hours I spent trying to chase this goddamn thing around. And it's frustrating because these enemies respawn. So, the problem about him is that because I haven't been here or yet, uh, this area has a lot of places that you sort of have to knock over. And... Oh, almost. Oh, jeez. Shit. I was so close. God damn it. Come back here. Fuck. I was trying to do a punch. No, 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 no. Oh, that sucks. Because I now I have to go back the same way that I just went. I mean, I can be slower and actually collect the Freaker Swords, but fuck is that still bullshit. That's why I hate this area. It's like this one stupid little mission that I hate. I know I've said that a lot about various areas of the game that we haven't even visited yet, but there's reasons for that. You know, I'm talking about frustrations as a child that still kind of bear their ugly head even now. It's nice that they kind of tell you, hey, you should do this thing, but at the same time, I actually really, really hate... Sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't start my conversations with just saying I hate certain aspects of this game, because I actually really love this game. It's just, you know, again, frustrations as a kid that used to be extremely annoying to deal with. Oh, you were so close. There we go. Dumbest quest ever. Even Dexter's having a hard time dealing with it. Okay, so that was really the most difficult thing you could probably deal with in this place. Um, after you sort of do that, it's actually kind of an easy area. Oh, shit. Um, probably not going to be able to finish this entire area in this episode. Um, just because it, you know, there's some nuances to the way that you have to explore certain parts of the game to actually. So this part is going to be a little challenging. Fuck. Oh. Oh no! Oh, we were so close. We were so close to getting there. Oh well, we'll try again. Um, also, my episodes kind of seem to not really have a specific time in which they last. Some of them have been like... Some have been shorter than others, is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's just because I'm not really worried too much about the organization of the way this my channel works quite yet. It's more of just actually getting content out there for people to watch. Um, there was even a part of me that kind of wanted to not really continue with this, at least with Jack and Dexter, just because I didn't feel like I, as much as I love this game and how much I do know about it, its history and whatnot, I didn't really think that I was personally all that invested into it as much, because there's plenty of games I can think of that would be just as entertaining or, or exciting to play. Um, but, I do feel that I need... I do feel that quality should be a degree of dedication in order to... Uh... Sorry, that was a bit, a bit of a weird ramble. Oh. Uh, what I meant to say was that this is a good experiment. Um, I still feel like an amateur. I don't think I've really improved my skills all that much. I've become obviously, a, a, you know, maybe more relaxed is the way to describe the way that I feel now. But I don't necessarily think that I have. Uh, 
Oh, don't want to fall. Mastered the skills that is um, doing let's plays of video games quite yet. I feel like I'm still a ways off from doing that. Also, I I don't you know I'm hoping to improve the quality of the sound. Oh, God, that was lucky. And uh, all I mean by that is that I really hope to get better equipment. And that will take time, um, money, you know, save, saving and investing. It's just a matter of having the right time. Oh, sorry. Fuck. Okay. Easiest way to do this would be to actually get that stuff. Kill this guy. Don't die already. There we go. Men. Use this. There we go. Much easier to deal with. And then this. There we go. So this is actually a fun little gladiatorial romp. Of course we died. I'll say something really cheery at the funeral. Like, how am I gonna get changed back now? That's alright. That's alright. We can do this. Um, eventually they should start dropping Red Eco on us. Well, Red Eco should start appearing randomly. But oh, actually even the enemies will give it to us. All we have to do is survive until we can get out of here. Ooh. And also the bombs, of course. Shit. Oh. Um, shouldn't take that long. Or we die again. Say goodnight, Jack. It's not a whole lot of skill to it, it's really just patience. Oh, and I'm just checking to see if there was any scout flies. I'm sorry if I don't sound the most entertaining. Um, I'm still new at this, right? Um, friends of mine actually were even recommending the possibility of even doing a joint kind of channel um, where we would, you know, play video games and talk. Uh, which I don't mind the idea of actually, just because as much as I do want to have this personal channel for me, um, being able to bounce, being able to bounce off people in terms of talking and obviously has really good comedic effects, natural comedic effects, not even trying to be funny. That's the thing. I don't, I don't want to just try to be funny. I want to be funny. So I'm not going to purposely just crack jokes for the sake of cracking jokes. Um, I'm sure there's some people out there that would not agree with that. I want my I want there to be like a natural attention that I hold. And that comes with time. I'm still a little bit on the rambly side of things, I'm getting better at that. That's sort of the thing to work on. I can't tell if that's bronze or gold. I think it's just bronze. Um, but you know what? That's actually a good place to end this. Uh, the next episode should be enough to actually finish the rest of Misty Island. Misty Island is not that big. There's you know one sequence that can take a little bit of practice um, or a couple attempts. So uh, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you staying tuned, and hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Um, this is sort of a blah episode, so. I will understand it, obviously, if there is some concern about the direction in which this uh, series is going. Um, know that I am trying to take as much, much time as I can to continue this series. And my goal really is to finish this, uh, hopefully by the end of summer. And, um, and that's all. Thank you again.